Right now, I thought I'd just show you the new plot that I've got next to my one now. So, before video and after video. It might take a couple of years to get it nice and neat and tidy, but I'll just show you a bit of work in progress. So, this scent's all full of brambles, which is slowly started cooling back. There's a couple of apple trees at the end there. Uh, when we come down, take the green out, it's mine now. Clean out, clean it all up over the next couple of years. Honey tunnel, which is uh, a bit broken, a bit decrepit, but uh, I don't know. The skin's not too bad. It's got a couple of holes in it, but I can always get some poly, poly tunnel tape and seal them up. And I don't know. I can weld the uh, broken stanchions. I might have them. Should be able to be welded together. It all comes down here, it's all full of grass and weeds. So, the idea is to get it all cut down, get all the brambles out, get it all cleared. Uh, and then cover it with plastic. And then starting this end where we pony tunnel is now, opposite that, that will go. Opposite. And then I shall cover it up and then I shall do is from that end there, I shall work backwards, pulling the plastics back and putting in raised beds six foot by virtually the length of the pony tunnel. So hopefully I'll put in two next year. I might put a raised bed up here this end, do a flower bed along here. So I'll be just pulling the plastic back. As I say, it's just going to be cutting the brambles out, stacking them up for over the winter, let them dry out, burn them. Probably cover it up then. February, March, and then just slowly digging a bit over each time, doing no dig beds, and uh, I'll take it from there. So, probably get another video February, March time of me putting the pony tunnel back up. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.